Hi everybody, Ruben from Rome Drum Channel here. Ruben from Rome Drum Channel. Today, an amazing lesson I do with my students. It's about all about consistency and groove and independence. And it's always inspired by Mr. Steve Gadd. You see Steve Gadd playing a lot open-handed and I love that. So for me, I practice that. And that was especially to learn the way back home groove, you know. That one. So I invented an exercise and it's good for students on all levels. But first, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget that. I love that because then I can do more videos for you. So the first thing we're going to do is play quarter notes on the hi-hat uh, with our right hand, the backbeat with our left hand, and we play a bass drum pattern. And the secret of this exercise, after four measures, we switch and we do our, the same thing with my left hand to quarter notes, the backbeat with the right hand and the bass drum pattern. And we start with my favorite bass drum pattern, you know? Huh. Yeah, that's funky. And watch this video to see how you can do the Steve Gadd bass drum technique with this pattern. That's very interesting. So quarter notes, and we do it really slow. Also because you have to really have to be mastering the slow grooves also. But also because we're going to play 60 notes with one hand. So watch the tempo in the beginning. And do it really slow. And then we switch. So left is the lead. And then we play the same thing, but now in syncopation. Yeah, and switch. Okay, we do it four measure each, but that's too long for YouTube, so I do it really short now. Okay, eight notes. can play it in shuffle or straight, but we do it now in straight. And then after four matches, you switch. Practice your weak hand. Yeah. So the next one, it's an endurance exercise for your left hand, because we do 60 note with one hand. So when we switch, don't force. So if you feel too much tension in your arm, you go back to your right hand. That's really important. And we switch. Go. So four measures. Ooh. Then the next one is the Steve Gadd famous left 60 note groove. And if you really want to do Steve Gadd, you play your left hand also on the back beat. But we do it now easy. And then switch, and that's really hard, so that's new. We start with left. So the switching part is really hard in this one, because you have to really figure out, you end with a left hand on your hi-hat, and then you start with a left hand. But it's so useful to get it all together and your independence going on. And now we go to the way back home groove. That's why I invented this one. And then we play syncopation 60 notes on the higher. And switch.
for me, that's the exercise. You can also do it with a paradiddle, of course, but the first step is just play a normal basic pattern, like one and two and the three and the four, and then... You see that you play three hands after each other when you do the switch. You can, if that's too hard, you can also end in measure four on beat four. You do. This is the essence of drumming. I say it, I told you. People love if you can't get your grooves together, man. So this was the lesson. Ruben from Rome Drum Channel. Please like and subscribe and leave comments and go to my Facebook page and my Instagram page. And I see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.